So I'm going to be talking about how to power an electrolytic cell with an electrochemical cell. Here you can see me setting up an electrochemical cell with a copper electrode and copper sulfate on the left side and a lead electrode and lead nitrate on the other side. So when those two are connected with the salt bridge, as you'll see in a couple of seconds, uh, they produce electric current. So what is going on here? This is an example of a redox reaction. So on the left side we have the reduction, on the right side we have the oxidization. So the solution on the left has a higher tendency re to reduce, so it's going to be the one that reduces. That means that the ions in the solution will bond with electrons to form solid metal. That metal will eventually coat the electrode, and on the lead side, the lead will break up into lead ions and, ele uh, and electrons. And that The reason that the left side uh, forms into metal and the right side breaks down is because the left side has a higher tendency to reduce uh, or to gain electrons than the right side does. So here you see me connecting the cell we made in the first step to an electrolytic cell. The so electrolytic cell is non-spontaneous, meaning it requires uh, energy to be inputted before it'll work. So in this case I'm using the energy provided by the electrochemical cell to power the electrolytic. See the, the electrolytic is a solution of nickel chloride with a carbon electrode and a lead electrode. The reason we use a copper electrode is because we want the nickel to only be as ions in the solution so it can so they can combine with electrons to form nickel solid. Um, this is so that we can get the most elect uh, voltage out of our cell as we want the lead to actually break down into electron. Um, so you can see the cell on the left produces about 0.25 volts and the cell on the right produces about 0.4. Uh, the 0.25 was enough to kickstart the one on the right. So as you can see here, these are the beakers that I used to make the solutions. Uh, I needed one molar solution uh, to go by the table, so I calculated the amount of uh, mass I would need of each, of each compound to give me a one molar solution. And this is surprise Ella. Yay, Ella. Thanks for watching.